Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scalhelp on Facebook. I have a member request for a card with an aperture in it. Okay, watch the numbers at the bottom. I'm going to do an 8, 6. So it'll end up being a 4x6 card. Come on. Oh, there we go. All right, and uh, I'll show you at the end how to draw the line in there uh, if you want to have a score line. But for now, we're just going to work on the aperture. Getting that put in here. So let's make a rectangle. All right, so let's put this because we're going to have a line at four. All right, so I have that position now. Now I need to select everything, okay? Come up here to edit. And we're going to come over here and click subtract. And the reason I click subtract is because this only leaves me with one item. If you use your divide and those things, it can leave you with two pieces, which gets confusing. This is where a lot of times I tell people to come in here and actually turn on your color. You can make it whatever color you want. It doesn't really matter. Okay. Color actually helps you see what has uh, solidity to it okay um, so now you see that this is actually the solid part and there is really a hole in here okay nothing else is there all right so I can try clicking on that there's nothing there that is what you want okay and she wanted it to look just like this but she also wants these little doohickeys in there okay so we're gonna shrink these little guys up so we can get a few couple of them in there Okay, let's see if I can grab this. Me, I just got a different computer because I keep managing to kill all of my computers. Ask me how I do that, probably because I'm on them 24 7. Duplicate. It'd be so nice if they'd put enough so you could, you know, duplicate them at four or five, six at a time so you wouldn't have to keep clicking the dead gum things. Okay. And of course, this isn't even, I'm not going to keep this, all right, I'm doing this to try to save you time, but we can come in here and throw some more up here and use up a couple more minutes of your day. Okay, let go, computer. You see what I'm doing, though? I'm placing them like this. Okay, so now... Because this is hollow, it must be hollow. When I come up here, you can come to edit and select all if you want. Edit, select all. Then you come to edit and you click this, which is weld. Those hearts will remain there. So that is how you do it. And you can click this again and come in here and fill it with your color and see what it's going to look like. Let's do a pretty pink. There you go. So that's what it will look like. All right. So I hope this helped you out. If you have any further questions, you can contact me over at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scout Help on Facebook. Thanks, guys. Pooh, I almost forgot. I wanted to show you this. Okay. So we'll put it, uh, it's a little shy of four. So this is your little dividing line. So I just clicked on that node thing. So this thing right here, I clicked on that. Now I left clicked once to set my line. Okay, now I'm going to bring it straight down. Okay, I'm going to set it on this line. And I'm going to left click twice. That just set it, and you see it popped up there. Okay, big whoop -dee, right? What if I want to actually cut it and score it? I'm going to click on uh, your properties tab, dash pattern right here. Okay, I can come in with, we'll do this one. We'll set it that way. Okay. So let's click off of it, and now you have your dash. All right, guys, now I'm officially done. Have a good day.